Good. This is high speed too. I was too. literally just thinking to myself, this descent has Caperia. been ridden very fast and it looks incredibly slippery. Oh no. Uh, Good mate. Problem with well, his I'm not right hip. The Giro's over for him, but Benin Gamay shaking his head and not too quick to get back on his bike. Clearly, that right leg is badly injured. Just banding it up, but um, it yes. looks like he might be able to at least continue for the time being. That looks to be a really nasty gash on his right hip because they're just stuffing so many things in there to just try and stop the bleeding. Perhaps it's already happened there by the time we get to it, but Gamay there, he was just signalling to look like he's something slipped out from under him, a little bit of braking, even these white lines in this, if you're braking on there, a lot of weight over your front wheel, it's very easy for it to go down. Look to be one of the Ineos riders there in that replay in the middle as well. Was oh, no. again, again. Oh, on the other side. Oh, well, it's going from bad to worse for Binion Gamayev and Tomashe. He's pressing his tyre there as well, getting on a spare bike, starting in the in dry conditions. You want a little bit less out of it, but you can tell they're just pressing the tyres. Oh, I don't even want to see this. Of it. Oh, that did slip away very easy, doesn't it? as it can do. You know, we all know what these roads in Italy can be like, particularly the newly laid surfaced ones. Oh. They are so incredibly slippery. He's still here. Yeah. Done. Do you yeah, see the done. signal then from the, the team director? Oh, what a shame. What a shame. Two crashes in the space of just a few minutes for Binion Gamay. Third on yesterday's stage, winner of a stage of the Giro d'Italia just a couple of years ago. And looking to be on the best form that we've seen him in in quite some time.